the Gupkar Alliance, uh, which was uh, uh, an alliance, uh, an announcement which was anti-India basically, and which was formed by the parties which were divisive, uh, which were playing divisive politics in Jammu and Kashmir, who have been supporting the separatist uh, movement and separatist leaders since long. After the abrogation of 370 article, 370 article, the uh, PDP and uh, the National Conference are now changing their stand from time to time. Now, in the coming Jammu and Kashmir DDC elections, the Bharatiya Janata Party has very clearly stated that the elections will be on development basis and 370 will not be abrogated at any point of time because now it has been passed by the parliament. So, now these forces, Gupkar uh, Alliance uh, parties and those who are stakeholders in that Gupkar Alliance, they are all anti-India. Basically, basically, they speak of anti-India and pro-Pakistan voice. So, this type of atmosphere in uh, the <coughs> Kashmir area is a very dangerous and uh, almost a divisive atmosphere is being created by the parties which are party to the Gupkar Alliance. Now, on the other hand, Mufti Mamas uh, <coughs> Saida says that uh, the BJP is playing divisive parties in Kashmir. It's very funny and very... Uh, very strange that the, these people who have been playing divisive politics, who have been anti-India uh, and who have been pro-Pakistani uh, elements till recently, now they are blaming the Bharatiya Janata Party with divisive politics. In fact, it is the parties who are part of the Gupkar Alliance who are creating divisive politics in Jammu and Kashmir.